Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today we're going to go through my monthly Sensi Club order. So as I've explained before, how I use my monthly club is basically to get my half price item. This month I chose the Whiff Box, um, and to be able to pick up different scents that maybe I haven't tried or ones that I want more of without placing like a separate order. I can just make it my monthly club be that and get my whiff box for half price, 15 bucks. Or I know last month, I think it was, I did met the, I think it was the Magnolia Linen um, washer whiffs. I've done that one. Anyway, but this month's whiff box. So let's go through the whiff box. Then I'll show you the bars I got. I only got bars and I've got the bring back my bars. 10, no, 11 of what I wanted to try. There was, I was going to add butter brickle, but I had melted that and decided I didn't really like it. So it made it so that there was only 11. All right, the whiff box, a taste of summer. So we all know that we uh, were getting um, bars. Well, okay, if you haven't watched it, bars, pods, fragrance flower, a uh, scent circle and a fragrance mist. So that's like, every way other than oils that you can use Scentsy. So they're they're really enveloping you in who Scentsy is. So very excited about that. So the scent on the fragrance flower that I got is Coastal Sunset. I don't know if that is one that has a variance in it, but the only variant I have seen in these boxes is my pods are kukui and coconut. So I do really like this. I think it's fantastic whether, yeah, I can get the Rio de Janeiro feel to it. I don't know if it's spot on. I've smelled it once. It was too strong, gave me a headache, yada, yada. So I do think that's what it smells like, but it gave me a headache. So I don't know, maybe in a more open area. I'm not sure. Uh, we got Pina Colada Cha Cha in the fragrance mist. Now remember with these, shake it up and careful where you spray because they are oil based. So it could get slick. So keep that in mind. Um, we'll do the wax last. So I got sand swept in the scent circle. We did get a spring summer catalog. Just know that as consultants, we start finding out about what's going away. I don't, I don't remember if we get to see the catalog, but we start finding that out July 1st. So the, oh, the one, I wanted to say that one. So Apple Teeny Splash, I do really like this one. There is, it is a green apple or a Mac apple kind of scent, but there was something in it that my nose was picking up that um, irritated. It didn't necessarily give me a headache, but it just kind of irritated my head. So one, I want to try some more of and maybe do this and a peeling apple and see which one I kind of like better. Cause this one is, it's a little different. Whereas the appealing apple, I think is like apple and peach. So anyway, the one scent I, I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to get this box specifically for the scent and I ended up getting the box. So Mojito Mambo. So a Mojito is, if I recall, I don't really drink much, but it's, um, I think macerated or crushed mint in lime juice or something like that, right? This is, this is good. This is the what this smells like to me is if you've ever planted a uh, spearmint, so they're short little, I guess they can get pretty big, but they're very invasive. So where you plant them, just know that they will spread, but they're really good at keeping ants out. But anyway, that's what this smells like to me. Not an alcoholic drink. It smells, it smells like that spearmint plant. You rub your hand up the plant or, or whatever, and you get that kind of green note along with the mint. That's exactly what this smells like. So I think it's really good. Can't wait to melt it. Um, so that was the whiff box. Fantastic whiff box. Let's get started on the bars. So I had to get 
the scent of the month, red, white, and berry pie. So I got this thing, I, I did, I went kind of back and forth because I want to get one of each of the scent of the month. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to melt this, um, cause it's cherry. And I have heard kind of back and forth. Some people like it. Some people think there's no bakery note. Um, but for the most part, the cherry was a really nice note. Not like the uh, wild black cherry, I think it was, that was in the Bring Back My Bar. So I like cherry limeade. I like, oh, it was cherry almond pie. I didn't like that one. The cherry, apple cherry streusel. I really like that. It'd be nice if they brought that back. Um... I, I I think I like this one more. So we shall see how that goes. I'm not a huge cherry person, but I like them. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So let's get started on the bring back my bars. So I did bring in my iPad. I had to plug it in. It was at 9%. So let's go through this. Kind of have them towered, but we'll go in order. Blackberry orange marmalade. So it looks like this. Nice, pretty purple wax. Oh, matches my nails. All right. This one says orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals. Let's see. It's, I mean, it's okay, but... So I, the blackberry vanilla, I love. It's musky. It's I actually have a little bit rubbed on the back of my hand. I keep um, a couple bars in like a, oh, bigger than this, but kind of like a container like this. And I keep a couple cubes in, in that in my car. So anyway, this is definitely sweeter. I'm assuming because it says over the, over sugar crystals, but I don't smell any orange marmalade. Mm -mm. It's really good. It'll be nice to melt, but I don't smell the orange marmalade. Let's see the next one in my list. As we know, they're probably going to be, they're all fruit and bakery, but some have a little bit of floral in them. So blueberry pancakes, which is blueberry and butter layered with light maple, make the mood. I can smell the maple. Not a huge maple person. Um, just like butterscotch bugs me too. All right, it's not coming out. For me, I smell a hint of spice and that maple note. I don't know, we'll see. I, I don't smell blueberries at all. That, that actually was a little bit of a disappointment. All right, next one. Caramel Vanilla Delight. This one I wanted to kind of try up against the two, see the toffee butter crunch, and then there was another toffee or caramel one and see which one I liked better. This reminds me um, a lot of, if you ever got those candles, um, party light candles, they had one that was caramel and it would, you could only get it in the jar. This reminds me of that, but there's something, is there been, oh, did I read you the scent notes yet? I don't know. I'm so tired. Vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. I smell the vanilla and the caramel. I don't smell any rum. So I'm excited about that one. We'll see how that goes. Next, this one might surprise you. I did pick up the coconut vanilla orchid. I know, I know, I know. Alluring orange zest, coconut milk, and a silky vanilla orchid. I was really hoping the vanilla orchid would not be strong and it I would be more of the coconut and orange zest. Okay, I smell orange zest for sure. And the vanilla orchid. I don't think I don't think I'm picking up any coconut milk. Mm-mm. 
and I can never read these. I can see where it is, but I can't read it. So we'll see about that one. All right, next, cotton candy cookie. So if I were to order any more bars, there's gonna be three I would definitely order. And this is one of them, cotton candy cookie. I did, I did smell these, took a quick cursory sniff of them. This one sells, smells good. And it's one of those lengthy, long descriptions. It's a trip to the county fair, little hands clutching cotton candy and cookies while gooey treats topped with sugared raspberries beg to be tasted. So I love cotton candy scents. So that's what I was really, I don't know. This isn't the kind of cotton candy I'm used to when I'm smelling it. No. Maybe it's the, the mix of the cotton candy and it says cookies, but I don't know. We'll see how this one warms. I heard it's fantastic, but kind of light. So it will be one that I'll have to test in a more closed environment. All right, cutie pie cupcake. And actually I had this going at work. I do have like a bar and a half now of this scent. I think this is so good. Now I have not necessarily compared back and forth like melted one and melted the other to Clementine cupcake, but my office just smelled like bakery heaven tonight or today. I loved it. That will go in my club. And actually I may put in the Clementine cupcake too and then eventually decide which one I like, but we'll see. All right, kitty pie cupcake. Okay, this one was odd. French toast. Who all of you got French toast? It's weird. Okay, it says a perfect, perfect light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. So this is the second one I've gotten with maple. And I don't know if the maple gives that kind of um, spicy kind of, but it's really faint. I don't know if it's giving that note, but uh, it's weird smelling. I don't know that it would be a keeper, but I have to consider what bakery I have. Yes, I know I do vendor wax. So um, we'll see if I end up putting that in my club. I'm not confident that I will though. All right. This one, absolutely, lemon coconut chiffon. So this one is melt in your mouth lemon custard layered with buttery cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. So this is, it's not an insanely strong lemon. This isn't like the kind of lemon that you get when it's just lemon, like squeeze the day. This, I think, you have to soften the lemon to add the other scents. And you definitely get the butter cake and you get the lemon. Not sure about the co toasted coconut, but I don't know, we'll see. I do like that and that one probably will go in my club. All right, next one. Okay, this might surprise you guys a little bit too. This is the pineapple coconut vanilla. Also matches my nails. So this one is Ride the Wind Along Coconut Pineapple Blush and Blue Fig. It is a perfumey kind of scent. So I know those of you who know I don't do, you know, perfumey kind of scents would probably be surprised. But I I like it in the, the body care. I don't know if it'd be too strong in the bar. It smells really good. You do get that perfumey kind of note but I like it. I'm just like Magnolia Linen. I cannot do in the bar, it's way too strong, but man, do I love that in the washer whips. All right, two more. Oh, I missed one. Love you very much. This one is uh, bursting red berries, dreamy white peach and tart cranberry finished with a splash of vanilla. You know, I love cranberry scents, so. And the red berry could be 
cranberry as well, or it could be maybe a raspberry or... Yeah, it smells more of a raspberry mixed with the cranberry. Really, really good. Really like that. I'm excited to melt that one. All right. <laughs> this one I had to. When I heard that this was coming back in the Bring Back My Bar, I was like, how would they even capture that? So, brown wax, concoction of an old-fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. So, root beer float. And it's, it's strange, guys. It literally smells like root beer. I don't know how they did that one. I mean, it's root beer. Like you stuck your nose in a Bart's root beer. Or actually, Tim likes the root beer that's mixed with the cream soda. That's crazy. That's root beer. Oh, it also reminds me of uh, the candies, the little root beer barrels. Yeah, reminds me of that one too. So that's what I got on Bring Back My Bar. I am excited to warm them. I'm gonna take them to work and put them in the area that I usually test scents in. So it might take me a little bit to get through it. A couple of them, like the coconut vanilla orchid one, I may do in the bathroom. Um, you know, we'll see. Not sure about that blueberry pancakes or the French toast. So we'll see how it goes. I am excited to get to warming these. So I'm going to start warming these at work tomorrow. I'll be posting it on my Instagram, um, which is just Catherine.King2020. So come hang out with me there and uh, I'll let you know how I like these Bring Back My Bars. See what all I get. Bye, guys.